and welcome to my garage. I'm going to be cleaning out my freezers today. So here I'm just going through everything and I'm taking what I need for this week into the house with me. So I'm just filling up my bag. I like to call this shopping. I'm going shopping in my garage <clears throat> to get what I need for the week or just things that I'd like to keep in the house. My freezer door is so annoying. It keeps closing on me. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go through everything here and then I'm gonna go through my deep freezer. And as I'm going along, I'm uh, making an inventory list of what we have. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought. So here's all the stuff that I took inventory of on this top shelf and then on this bottom shelf is all of our frozen stuff for our two week emergency supply of food. And then the door is stuff that I took inventory of also. And then deep freezer, I cleaned out and took inventory of everything that I have in there and I have a lot of room to fill it up. So let's go into the inside freezer and see what we've got there. So here I'm just going through it and seeing what I can toss and what I can use and what I can put into the garage to give me some more space on the inside. Sometimes I make freezer prep or freeze freezer meals and put them in the inside freezer and then I have to move them out to the outdoor freezer so I have more space inside. so bad either. I have the stuff that we're going to use this week on the top shelf and then I have like breakfast and grab and go lunches type stuff there and vegetables and random randomness on the side. I'm going to take inventory of this stuff and put it in the freezers in the garage and put that stuff in the refrigerator and we will be good to go. you didn't mind that little decoration break. Now I'm going to start making some stuff to fill up the freezers again. So I just got started making some rice and now I'm going to make some coconut macaroons. I had four egg whites left over from the chocolate mousse that I made. I just needed the yolks. So I'm making macaroons. check on my rice and to fluff it up and to see where it's at. When you put it in the freezer, you want it a little less done than usual, just because it's gonna cook a little bit more when you warm it up when you're ready to use it. And here's Judith. Looks like it's time to make pudding pops and raspberry jello cups. Yes, those are specimen cups. 
No, I don't wish to talk about it. Just kidding. <laughs> we used these for Judith Stock McStuffin's birthday party. And we had them left over and they are the perfect size for little jello cups and the perfect size to make popsicles. And here's a little trick for popsicles. We're just using pudding. We just follow directions on the back for regular pudding, putting it in the in the cups, and then we use plastic spoons instead of popsicle sticks. It works so much better than popsicle sticks. It keeps them on the spoon. It doesn't fall off, even if you bite it. It just works so much better. I didn't show you guys this, but I made a dough because we are going to make orange rolls. So I just made this sweet dough. It has butter in it. I will leave the recipe in the description box in case you want the whole thing. Here's the baking sheet that my rice was on. Once it's done cooking, you spread it out onto a baking sheet and let it cool completely and then put it in bags. And when you're ready to eat them, you take them out of the freezer, pop them in the microwave for three minutes. Here are what the macaroons look like after they came out of the oven. These look delicious and I ended up chocolate covering them or chocolate dipping them when I got done. So the whole point for the orange rolls is because I had some old oranges left over that I wanted to use. So we're going to zest these oranges and get them juiced. And then I'm going to mix up the filling for the orange rolls. So the dough for the orange rolls is risen and ready to be rolled out. So I'm just going to roll that out to 12 by 18 and I'm going to put half of the filling in it and then I'm going to cut them and put them in the pan and let them rise for another 40 minutes or until they've doubled in size.
and here they are ready to go into the oven. There were some cinnamon chips in the freezer, so I made some scone dough. I'm just going to get this into two balls and put it in a bag with the instructions and put it in the freezer for when I have unexpected company or when we're just feeling like some scones. These orange rolls turned out so good and they are surprisingly easy. I definitely suggest you try this recipe out. Yummy! So on this night we had skillet lasagna for dinner and that recipe only calls for half of a tub of ricotta and it only calls for 10 lasagna noodles. So with the leftovers I decided that I was going to make a small lasagna for the, ov for the oven, for the freezer, for when I just need something quick and easy to pull out and eat for dinner. I got this big 10 pound bag of potatoes last week for $2. I couldn't pass up that deal. I don't need this many potatoes. So I'm going to make a big batch of mashed potatoes and I'm gonna put them in bags and put them in the freezer for the next time I want them for dinner or if I need to make a shepherd's pie or something like that. I already have the mashed potatoes ready to go. So after I peeled and cut up my potatoes, I let them boil until they are nice and soft. And now I'm just gonna add whatever dairy is left over in my refrigerator. So I have a stick of butter, I have a, like a half a container of sour cream and whatever milk was left in my refrigerator. Just add it all together, mashed it all up, added some salt and pepper. You can add garlic or whatever seasonings you like and um, mashed that all up until it was smooth. And then I put it in two gallon Ziploc bags, flatten them out and let them cool completely. And here's what they looked like when they were done. Nice and creamy and delicious. These turned out so good. I can't wait to include them in my meal plan. Are you guys sick of watching me make pie dough yet? 
<laughs> I'm sorry. We're making a pie dough again. Just the standard Crisco pie crust. I'm gonna mix this up because when I was cleaning out the freezer, I found a container of pot pie filling. So I'm going to make a crust and make a pot pie and put it back into the freezer for when I need it. back which means we must be doing something fun here we are mixing up a batch of chocolate chip cookies we're not gonna cook the cookies yet we're just going to freeze the dough so that we have it when we want chocolate chip cookies we're doing this because I found a bag of chocolate chips and we only needed half of that bag for the chocolate chip cookies so with the other half I'm gonna melt it down and chocolate dip our coconut macaroons and put those back in the freezer
so here's a look at everything I accomplished. I got two bags of rice, the cookie dough, I've got the scone dough, I've got the chocolate dipped macaroons, and I have two bags of mashed potatoes. Also, I have a chicken pot pie in the freezer, a lasagna in the freezer, I made those orange rolls, and we have pudding pops in the freezer, and jello cups in the refrigerator. I feel accomplished. This was great. This was awesome. I used up a bunch of stuff that I needed to get rid of, and now it's all delicious and ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were motivated by it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, you guys. Mwah.